Now, FA Cup third round obviously means the magic of the cup comes back to St Mary's. What's your best memory of the FA Cup with the Saints, Nick? One of the, the best memories for me in the FA Cup was when we beat our much-loved and loathed rivals Pompey 3-0 in the third round. And I think it was 1996 was, was the year. And it, was just, it just had everything. If you were a Saints fan, it was everything that Pompey fans... Didn't don't want to remember. <laughs> don't want to remember. Uh, funnily enough, they started their fanzine and called it 28th of January 1988 after beating us once in the league on that date. But I don't remember him bringing out one of January 1996. The day came, I remember seeing Pompey fans interviewed and they were a fur to Midland Championship club at the time and had been for a while. And every Saints fan who was interviewed said, we're looking forward to it. we've got a better team we're a Premier League club All, if it goes to form we should win this easily, easily whereas every Pompey fan said yeah we're the best club on the south coast we're going to win this and we're going to show them that by winning it and they just had an arrogance about them that we didn't seem to have as supporters back then and we went out there and the, from the moment the teams walked out, the Dell crowd, the Saints crowd we, made a great atmosphere, they made a lot of noise and basically frightened Pompey. I, I mean, I, I spoke once to one of the players who played for the Pompey team in that, who shall remain nameless, and he said they stood in the tunnel at the, the Dell, or the, on the stairs at the Dell as it was then coming down to come out, and he said they were l quite literally frozen with fear on the noise and that proved to be the case and we we beat them 3-0 and I think it was uh, seeing their faces close up was pretty good as well yeah because they, they were at, we were, well, I was in the Archers bike shed as we like yeah. to call it and they were about 20 yards to our left literally and just seeing the look on their faces was enough yeah was enough. no it, it, it was brilliant and uh, it was Jim Matilton I think got two goals yeah. didn't he that day yeah. uh, and square ball Jim square ball Jim yeah sideways Jim as the bloke used to call him behind me yeah. and you know it was just a great result and uh, you know just showed where we were at, at, at the time so that that's one of my favourite third round memories and Clive what's your favourite memory in the FA Cup Saints well I think it'd have to be Aston Villa in, in 1976 a year we won it because we went into that game we'd been on a really great run in December I think we'd won five out of five. Yeah, I think yeah. yeah, five out of five, and started to win away from home as well, um, which they hadn't done up to that point. But then, Villa were a decent, decent Division One team, what we call the Premiership these days, um, and we were a challenging um, team from coming up from the Championship, um, as they call uh, Division Two. Division Two. Yeah. Division Two. We were Division Two. So, you know, there was a, st but Villa. Villa were very, very tough that day. Really, really tough. It was a dour game. It wasn't no pretty game at all. But we we hung in there. But unfortunately, just after half time, Andy Gray got a a streaky goal, didn't he? I think it was up the yeah. Milton Road end. Um, and, yeah, it would and, have been. Yeah. And after that, Saints huffed and puffed. To be honest, and you thought, well, we've given a good account of ourselves, but we're going to go out here and so concentrate on promotion. But right, right, literally in the last minute the most unlikely hero of all Huey Fisher popped up off a header for Mike Shannon at the, the Archers Road end and shot for a crowd of players and as the net bulged the stadium just went bang it was fantastic yeah, you know when you always get a last minute equaliser there's something special about that it also goes to show when you think all hope is lost in the 89th minute mm. you just keep going you just keep going and Anyone, if you'd said to, to people at the start of that cut run, we're going to win the cup this year, well, you'd have, yeah, you'd have, you'd have sectioned them basically. 